Hey guys, it's Bang for Black PC Gamer here. In this video, I want to find out just how much performance I can gain from overclocking my CPU and memory when it comes to playing games. For those of you who don't know what overclocking is, it's basically just running a piece of hardware above its stock specification in order to achieve better performance. Now, when I built my PC, I specifically bought components with overclocking in mind. But after looking at some reviews, I've noticed that there is very little increase in gaming performance when you're using a discrete GPU at a resolution of 1920 by 1080 or above. So the CPU I'm going to be using for this test is the Intel i5-3570K and this comes at a stock speed of 3.4 GHz. The memory I'm going to be using is 8 GB of Corsair Dominator DDR3 which comes at 1600 MHz at stock but for the sake of the test I'm going to be running it at 1333 MHz and then overclocking it to 1866 MHz. So for the test what I plan on doing is running some small segments of each game at stock settings which would be 3.4 GHz on the CPU and 1333 MHz on the memory. Then I'm going to run the same segment of the game again but at overclock settings which would be 4.8 GHz on the CPU and 1866 MHz on the memory. What I'll do next is place each video side by side and run them as synchronized as possible so we can see if we can identify any performance increases. So the games I'm going to be using in these tests are Crisis Free, Tomb Raider, Metro Last Light Redux, Bioshock Infinite and Battlefield 4. Also the GPU that I plan on using is the AMD R9 290 which I'm going to be running at stock settings because we only want to focus on the CPU and the memory. If you want to see the performance differences you can gain from overclocking the GPU I have made a separate video for that so I'll leave a link for that in the description. So first up is Crisis 3. Um, these are the in-game settings I'll be using. All settings will be at very high. Still a very demanding game. Even with very low AA. So as you can see there's not very much between the two settings because even when you overclock your CPU to 4.8 GHz and your memory to 1866 MHz it's not really giving me much of a performance increase which is pretty disappointing actually but like I said you don't really get much of an improvement when you're at resolutions of 1920 by 1080 or above when it comes to overclocking your CPU. So no increase in performance with crisis free and overclocked CPU. Now hopefully this won't be the case with all the other games because um, it's a significant increase in voltage and uh, heat to get my processor to 4.8 GHz and I mainly use it for gaming and if I'm not getting any return then I may as well run it at stock so hopefully other games will show some improvement so next up is Tomb Raider, these are the in-game settings I'll be using. Um, all settings are maxed apart from AA which I've left at FXAA, just to maintain a decent FPS. So once again, frames per second is practically identical. So this is another game which doesn't really benefit from an overclocked CPU and 
um, overclocked memory either. Just goes to show you once you hit resolutions of 1920 by 1080 and above, um, there's very little point in having an overclocked CPU when it comes to gaming. Next up is Metro Last Light Redux. These are the in game settings. Everything maxed apart from AA once again. No need to butcher your FPS just to get rid of a few jaggies. And with 2x SSAA, there isn't really any jaggies anyway. So hopefully, this game will show some kind of improvement with an overclocked CPU and overclocked memory. In the past, trains were ordinary things. But now, this monorail seems magic, doesn't it? Our kids won't know how to operate these things. And their kids will probably think this was built by the gods. Alright, we've reached the station. This is part of the secret Metro 2 line. We haven't explored these tunnels. Can't spare the time or manpower. So don't wander off. on the system and get the lights on. Use your flashlights in the meantime. Right. You ready? Wait. Watch yourself. The doors are closing. Good luck. Yeah, we'll need it. Didn't you and my father take the monorail when you went out to fire the missiles at the Dark One's nest? That's a good sign, Rabbit. Maybe we'll have luck with this mission, too. Power's working. Open the gate. I'll cover the passage. Great. You did fine after all. So, once again, virtually no performance improvement despite the CPU being at 4.8 gigahertz versus 3.4 gigahertz and I'm starting to think I may as well return my CPU to stock while gaming because um, the trade-off right. is terrible. The map shows a collector entry point ahead. Move, I'm following. Go right. There's a dead end on the left. Something alarmed them. Stay sharp. Shit. That thing's fast. You got reflexes. I'll give you that. Great. The ladder. It's just a little more walking. Then we'll see if you're a rabbit or a man. So next up is Bioshock Infinite. Here are the in-game settings that I used. As you can see all settings are maxed out at Ultra. And uh, hopefully this game can show some kind of improvement with an overclocked CPU and overclocked memory. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. I imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, oh, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. 
I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We've arrived. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? That changes. Hey! We might give him somebody some meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Excuse me. It's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? Good luck with that, pal. Is anyone here? Hello? Bioshock Infinite shows boosts in FPS here and there, but... Nowhere near enough to justify Shit. overclocking your CPU. Wait a minute, that card. Next up is Battlefield 4. Um, here are the in game settings. I'll be using the Ultra preset as you can see. And hopefully this game will show some kind of improvement. Fucking piece of shit! Do you need me to drive, Irish? I... I'm good, Hen. I got it. I'll come up and join you. We're not gonna last much longer without food or water. Watch our box wrecker. I'll fart to the goddamn earpiece. Are you okay? Let me take the wheel. That's the last thing I would do, Hannah. Why can't you trust me, Irish? Man, give me a break. I don't know shit about you, Hannah. Where's your loyalty anyway? You know what? Never mind. Oh, yeah? Try me. I brought Jinja to meet my parents, my siblings, and their children. I wanted them to have hope. Next day, Chang's troops came in and killed them all. We're in the whole village now. Slow down. Wow. My turn to say I didn't know. Hey, look, Hannah, I'm sorry, right? Trust is earned, Irish. Oh, shit! Go, go, go! Russians. You think they saw us? Keep still and we're safe. You call us safe, Hannah. We have to get out of here. There's too damn many of them. Quiet, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Let's go. Shh. You go, brother. We got anything on the cameras or sensors? All clear. We got three minutes. What is this? An observation post? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's move it. Hey, you almost blew our cover. Your hind tight says you're a marine? Two full squad. Seventh fleet. Yeah, where you from? Brooklyn. He's Flatbush. Did you go to Tilden or Wingate? GWH. Westinghouse? Yeah. <laughs> no shit. My brother went there. My dad's restaurants in Brownsville. Who are these guys? Record squad leader. She's Chinese intelligence and she's good people. How do we get to the airbase? I don't know. Miracle? Let me show you what you're dealing with. Russians are everywhere. We lost the airbase, got pushed back to Old Town. We need to find Transport West. Where's your commanding officer? Old Town, if you can hack it. It's one click east. Just follow the Blue Dome and find Major Greenland. You can't miss her. Hey, start up a connection to Greenland and give her a heads up. Yes, sir. Is this the best way out? Affirmative. You guys have anything left in the truck you don't want the Russians getting their hands on? Not unless they're interested in dirt. <laughs> Wrecker, right? Molina's Hot Pocket, my dad's place. Best chicken empanadas in the city. Take your squad there when this is over. So there you have it, guys. If you're a gamer, surprisingly, there isn't really much point in overclocking your CPU. Unless you're overclocking with, an, say, something like a Kaveri AMD APU, which 
shows a significant boost when you overclock the memory when it comes to gaming but if you're using a discrete GPU like me and you're gaming over resolutions of 1920 by 1080 and above then it doesn't really make much sense I mean with the games I've tested anyway there may be some very CPU heavy um, games which might take a little bit of advantage but I can't see um, an increase in FPS by a significant margin so realistically I think the only thing you thing you should really be overclocking is your GPU if you want a performance increase when it comes to playing games other than that then just leave it at stock um, hope you've enjoyed the video this has been pretty um, educational for me so hopefully you've learned something from this as well